Hello, I'm John Davies and today I'll be talking about the Information Superhighway. I'll be talking about what it is, how it's currently being used, and its future potential. What is the Information Superhighway? The term Information Superhighway was used in the 80s and 90s to describe what was hoped to be a future high-speed national network con connecting companies, firms, and many other entities together in the United States. This hope did become a reality, a reality we were all extremely accustomed to due to the explosion of the World Wide Web. The information superhighway exists today as the Internet, a global network of most of the world's devices. The term information superhighway simply became an outdated way to describe the Internet. Current applications for the information superhighway are very considerable. The Internet as it stands today acts as a pivotal component to modern telecommunications, allowing for high speed or almost instantaneous communication across the globe. You could hold a conversation with someone who's on the other side of the world thanks to the superhighway. The internet has been an established part of most people's lives now, and is integral to everyday life. Entire industries came to life because of the internet. Social media, e-commerce, entertainment networks, information distributors such as Wikipedia, and the list goes on. I couldn't possibly list everything in this presentation. Google, Facebook, Twitter, and many other Silicon Valley companies are solely reliant on the internet. Without it, Silicon Valley might not even exist. The information superhighway has been much has seen much of its innovative potential come to fruition. However, new ways and ideas to use the internet are constantly appearing. Because most of the world today is now connected to the internet, new technologies have emerged, technologies such as the Internet of Things. But what is it? As the name suggests, the Internet of Things revolves around networking objects allowing for intercommunication between them. This could come in the form of household items such as lights, fans, appliances, TVs, computers, and so on. Networked together and all within reach on, say, your smartphone. You could essentially control these items from anywhere without having to physically interact with them. Basically, anything capable of an internet connection is capable of this. The internet of things may likely see mainstream adoption over the next few years as it is starting to appear in more and more places, thanks to the capabilities of smartphones. Almost everyone has one, so why not connect everything to them? Not only does the Internet empower the Internet of Things, but it also has the capacity to distribute information to almost all places. Most of the world does already have access, but effort is being put in to give the minority that same access. An interesting to note, an interesting to note about the Internet is that within the next decade, the number of devices that make up this information superhighway is predicted to be in the trillions. Between 1990 and 1995, everyone was talking about the information superhighway and how everyone in the U.S. would be connected on a high-speed network. According to the Gartner Hype Cycle chart for 1995, the information superhighway was still somewhat, hy somewhat hyped up but had begun its descent into the trough of disillusionment. At this point, the internet was already active and rather widespread. People were basically starting to accept it and the hype became quieter and quieter as the internet slowly became the norm. The internet achieved widespread adoption by most households around the late 90s or early 2000s. In 2001, 50% of households in the US had internet access. Although the hype for the internet has died, it is still exponentially growing to this day and it's unlikely that this trend will stop. To conclude, the information superhighway is nothing short of an ingenious idea that has networked the world in the form of the internet. It's seen global usage for many years and has become a crucial component of most people's lives, enabling communication across great distances. Although it's already mainstream, there are still countless ways that the Internet could be utilized, such as the Internet of Things, networking even the most unexpected items to make, that, to make things just that little bit more convenient. The World Wide Web still harbors a very strong potential. Uber is a taxi company which relies on an app to employ drivers and enable customers to get rides. This app can, can be used all around the world, and this is only possible because of the internet. Many innovative ideas similar to Uber have entered the scene, and that's only one example of how the internet can be used. The possibilities for its potential are endless. Thanks for listening in. I hope my presentation has taught you about the humble beginnings of the internet and how it's used.